All right, our next caller is Mike from Pennsylvania. Hey, Mike, what's up? How can we yo, help you? Yo, yo, Mike, what's up? Yo, what's good, boys? How we doing today? <laughs> good, good. What's going on, man? Oh, we got a live one. <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. First of all, I want to say thank you for having me on. Love the podcast. Um, young personal trainer. Love listening to you guys. You guys have oh, such good advice that, you know, can't really get from a lot of people. But, so I have a question. So I need to know, how do I balance out my core again? Because, like, as a kid... No problems, no injuries. As I'm growing older, I have like a left shoulder problem, hip, you know, we all have problems. But I tend to use my right side of my core, like on every single exercise, core, non-core. Um, and it seems like I'm using my top left ab in my, my second to top right ab. But, but the whole core on my right side, I'm activating that way more. And I'm, you know, I don't know if it's because of my hip, my, you know, high ankle sprain, shoulder, but... I guess my question for you guys would be, where do I start to get that imbalance back? Well, there's there's two things that come to mind right away for me is, one, I would definitely do, if you don't have MAPS Prime, I would do an assessment to see if there's a breakdown, and there's a good chance you've got a breakdown somewhere all the way down to your feet, right? And that's running all the way up the kinetic chain. So that's the first thing is I'm trying to look to see if I, I have limited range of motion in one of my major joints from the foot all the way up, right? So that'd be the first thing. And then an exercise that seems very tedious, and I remember uh, I, I rarely did it as a personal trainer and later on found the value of this, would be the quadruped. Hmm. And when you do the quadruped, do not uh, do it like you see some some trainers and some people in the gym where they're just kind of going back and forth like as fast as they can through the exercise. Like mm -hmm. you are trying to uh, articulate every inch of that movement and make it look perfect and seamless on both sides. And you're probably going to see and feel a discrepancy on one side or the other. And your your goal is to get that to, to, to match. It's a great exercise. We call it the bird dog, too, for other people who don't know what that quadruped oh. is. But, yeah, so opposite arm and leg and really pointing your – your, your fingers and your toes in opposite directions, but not allowing your hips to rotate is that the biggest part of that um, exercise that you need to focus on. But yeah, to be able to, to, to figure that out, you'll, you'll be able to actually see a, a quite a bit of a discrepancy there if it's there and, and to be able to stay in there and really intensify the tension in your muscles to start trying to communicate again where you need to communicate. Yeah, you can put a stick down your spine while you're doing bird dogs and making sure that the stick stays in contact with the different points of your spine. So the back of the head, upper shoulders, the the pelvis, so that when you're doing it, it doesn't fall off Have your we body done a good video for this? Um, have you we, know, I don't think we have. Yeah, I mean, really, I think we did a bird. Dog. Well, we did do one, but I mean, not in like. You know what? We're shooting great detail. We're, sh we're shooting fitness tips. I think today or tomorrow with Eli. Put that on our list, yeah, Doug, to shoot because there. that's you know that it, it's such a uh, a basic movement that I think people are familiar with, but no one really does it well. Yeah. I think, yeah. and so we can talk so, about I, in, any of those contralateral type movements and, and exercises you can incorporate uh, where we get that sort of uh, rotating left. Sh to write or like just just getting that type of uh, channel opened up is going to help. A lot. This is also how I would prime all of your workouts. That would be part of my warm up now if I was you. So that would have yeah. I, I would start my workouts with this exercise to get everything kind of firing uh, equally before you go into your other bigger movements. Yeah. Now it, you did say a couple things that were a little confusing. You said something about your upper left ab or upper right ab. So. As far as the abs are concerned, they don't really work that way. It's there's two attachments, and so you're not going to activate one you know brick of your ab over the other. However, you can definitely have a left to right imbalance because of the external internal obliques. And mm -hmm. so one thing you can test, Mike, is your rotational ability. So windmill. So you know you can try a windmill, or you can just stand up straight, rotate as far as you can without twisting your hips in one direction. Try in the other direction and see if there's a difference between the two. And rotational exercises will help typically balance out the right to left discrepancy when, when it comes to the core. Well, this is why I recommend MAPS yeah. Prime, right? So MAPS Prime is going to highlight that. So if in there is the windmill test, so it's going to uh, highlight the rotational component that Sal's talking about. And then it's also going to highlight what I was talking about with you may have some sort of breakdown in your feet and work your way up. So it's going to tell you a lot. And in there... Whichever, wherever you have breakdown, there's exercises and movements that you should specifically be doing to address that issue. And that should literally become your routine that you follow before all your workouts to prime the body properly to start to start and balance this Do out. Do you have access to MAPS uh, Prime, Mike? 
I do not. So okay. I started listening to you guys like a month ago. So like I'm kind of catching up on all oh, the wow. stuff. All right. Um, yeah, I do not. I definitely want to. All right. Know, get well, in, we're gonna get send. In. We're gonna send that to you. And because you're a trainer, it's gonna be extremely valuable for your clients as well. Oh, the, yeah. the compass tests and the priming movements. It's going to be tremendous for how you end up training your clients. It's a tremendous tool. And if there's any trainers listening right now, if you don't have Maps Prime, you're making a huge mistake. It's an extremely yeah. valuable tool for trainers. Mike, I always like to ask to our trainers, uh, who's your favorite host? And why is it me? Oh, oh dude. Yeah. Who's my favorite? Dude, I, all three of you guys, man. I, I yeah. love oh, My favorite part is like about the podcast is the beginning part where you guys get a little, you know, into conspiracies and stuff. I love that part. <laughs> well, um, well, Mike, I'm going to take away, guy. I'm going to take Maps Prime back away because uh, <laughs> no, you, no. you said all of I'm, I'm the one that gave it to you for free. You can I, try it. That's almost as bad as the He's Doug so answer. Jealous. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks for calling, man. Hey, 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 good luck to you guys. I appreciate you guys answering my call, man. No, no problem. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, if you're a trainer, I, I, I swear to God, I wish I had this as a trainer. I mean, oh my God, Prime and Prime Pro? Are you kidding me? The kind of information that you get in Maps Prime used to be a thousand dollar certification. Yeah. You'd have to go spend a thousand dollars get certified. I say it at least once every hundred episodes that if you are a trainer and you don't own Prime and you don't own Prime Pro, you're an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> just, just flat out. Like I like that. You, and we, by the way, and there's a free, go to the free webinar. Don't buy it. Go to the fucking free webinars. Watch it. Consume the content. The information in there. In my opinion, if you're a coach, right, as a trainer, this isn't, I mean, I think the general population, it's it's extremely valuable, period. But if you are a trainer, when I think of the the things that I learned over the two decades training clients, the information in both those programs uh, trumps everything else that we have. Oh, yeah. By but, far. So it's mapsprimewebinar.com. That's one of them. And then the other one is primeprowebinar.com. And they're totally free. So go check those out.